I felt like exposing a bit of myself today and I decided why not let's do a make a video and I'm gonna show you guys or take you guys through what I do on a daily basis with regards to my day-to-day kind of look and I really hope you enjoy It's amazing how easy it is to transform yourself from this to that. Well, not that I don't like both uh, the ladies. I love both of the ladies. I just love that there is the versatility whereby I can just be my toned down self and be my glammed up self. So yeah, let me take you through a journey whereby I move from my toned down self my regular Joe next door to my glammed up self. Hello and thank you so much for tuning in. I am Fifi and yeah, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to be doing something different. Whew, it is a bit out of character for me, but then pff, I kind of feel like 2020 is just the year whereby everything just comes out. So yeah. I am going to take you guys through my day-to-day -day, uh, makeup routine. So yeah, brace yourself. This is me without makeup on. And yeah, so let's just get right to it. Um, what happens is, well, I, I prepped my face. I cleaned my face. I toned my face and I moisturized. And um, I'm just one of those people. Um, I don't I don't do primer. So instead of primer and all of that I, I just love to sort of like zest my skin with water to sort of like hydrate it before i start and so basically this is um just a bottle of water that i like to just spray on my skin uh, i kind of feel like <laughs> it's some form of hydration don't judge like I said, I am not one to prime, so uh, yeah, I, I prep my skin using um, water. Well, this is just after I cleansed my face and I toned down and moisturized. Let me know if you would want for me to do a video on how I prep my face, but then it's pretty much the basic of what everyone does which is you remove makeup you wash you tone and you moisturize so so yeah um like i said they, there's a lot of um steps that a lot of people do when it comes to their makeup that I skip <laughs> so please forgive me we're not here to judge and it's the first time ever I do my face on a camera so I don't know how that's gonna go so now and then I'll be looking at the camera and looking at the mirror and looking at the camera and the mirror then let's see how it goes right so the, the first thing I do I sort of like like to put my foundation i know a lot of the ladies now there is this trend of starting with their eyes well I, I must say the honest truth is it does work and and but then it it, it, it works when you are a pro so if you are like me and you just um sticking to your day-to-day -day look and you are not that professional to start with your eyes this is what we do um so basically i put on my foundation i i really love this color because of all the foundations that i've ever used in my life i kind of feel like this is the one that closest match my skin color um and unfortunately, I'm just one of those. I don't know how many are out there also are. I'm just one of those that I hardly find a color that really matches my skin. And I can 
pretty much say I think that is because I have a lot of tones on, on, on my face and because of the acne to start with and the scarring from the acne. Um, I think I developed acne when I was in standard six, what a lot of you now call grade, what's grade eight, yes. And I started, my skin started breaking out then. And I think ever since then, I've always, and I mean, always being conscious when it comes to my skin. And every time somebody was looking at me, like, you know, like looking me in the eye, I would assume like that they were looking at the spots and they were looking at the pimples and I would be so freaking conscious of it. It was not funny. And it's, it, it, it is a mood damper, especially when it comes to, to your confidence. And you find that you don't, you, you end up putting yourself in, for lack of a better word, a closet. And you find that you hardly socialize because you are always thinking that people are looking at your skin and not you. And it, it really makes one become very self-conscious. And yeah, so it was one of those battles that I really had in my life. And it, it, it took years, really, it really took years for, for me to, to get out of that and really brace myself and say, you know what, I'm not the only one with pimples and I'm not, um, well, certainly I'm not the first and I'm not going to be the last. So, um, you know, you slowly but surely start getting back into it i mean if for instance i am here doing my makeup for you um on a platform like youtube and i just showed you my face um it means i've come along i've really come a long way i've really come a long way well the other thing i i love about this foundation is that you you can build it up you know you, you you can build it up it's just so beautiful it, it has full coverage um what's it called um well i'm not here for the products i was just here for my routine but then it's the mac and c50 i i really love it because it it it's it it glides on very nicely to the skin and it's very light you know um i normally put on my 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 makeup in the mornings and it just lasts me throughout the day. And I, I really love that about this foundation. So, yeah. So, basically, this is how I do my daily makeup. You know, this is my day-to-day go-to makeup that I put on my face. And as you did see, I just put my brush two times into the foundation itself. And the whole face was done. And you would like to also just prep your, this is a tinted lip balm. So I kind of like tinting my, no, moisturizing my lips while I go on with my makeup. <clears throat> oh, um, yeah, I'm just one of those. I don't do a lot of contouring. Um, I, I hardly do contouring actually. And, but I... I pretty much spend a lot of time around my eyes because firstly is um, I don't have a lot of hairs. Um, so, you know, now and then you make it a point that you supplement what you don't have. <laughs> yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And I use dark brown for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to go straight through. Like I said, this is how I normally prep my my face every day. And, and it's pretty much something that I've gotten used to. So in a lot of cases, I normally take about... 10 to 20 minutes to do my face every morning and yeah but then i think because i am doing a video and i'm talking and i am confused between the mirror and the camera 
um, it might take longer than that. Let's hope it doesn't. And I would really love for you to just stick around for the end product. <laughs> uh, yes, so uh, I sort of like, I like to put a, a shape that I <clears throat> want for, for my eyebrows. Then I just to work around the shape. Um, then from there, mm -hmm, I fill in using strokes. Uh, you don't, I normally don't like rub it in. I, I use strokes to sort of like just mimic the hair. And I find also that when I use strokes, it, it becomes very light. It doesn't seem harsh, you know. And it, it like I said, it, it mimics the the eyebrow hairs when it's it's done in strokes. Yeah. So yes, now and then I'm gonna keep quiet because this is an art, people. This is an art. You know? It's yes. This is another thing I I want to emphasize when it comes to eyebrows. I find that a lot of us want for our eyebrows to look identical, of which it's impossible because fr frankly, your eyebrows are never identical. So every time you sort of like um, fix or do your eyebrows, just bear in mind that they, they need to sort of like look like sisters, not twins, you know, because firstly, I think when they look too identical you look a bit ridiculous you know and especially if you're somebody like me who has a lazy eye you know i have a lazy eye so ideally with the lazy eye you would think that the eyebrows won't be the same you know um to accommodate the the laser sister and the other one to accommodate the other active sister yeah she's the active sister she is the lazy one like literally i can do this with my eye the whole day and it's quite okay and this is yeah i'll talk about this when i get to the eyeshadow so basically this is what i do with my eyebrows just to put them nicely in place Mm -hmm. Oh God, I forgot I'm um, taking a video. <laughs> okay, it's cool. It's cool. Let's come back. Let us come back. This is a video medali. Yes, we're taking a video and yeah. So basically, that's plus minus the first step to my eyebrows. This is how I do my eyebrows. Then... I would like to, what you call this thing? I um, define the eyebrows. I think of all the steps to my makeup, this is one that takes the longest time. Um, I hardly use concealer in most cases uh, when it comes to defining my eyebrows i actually use um what do they call it it's it, it's a it's a creamy foundation um i think this is black opal uh, i might be mistaken but then i know the color is caramel something caramel so that's what i use for for my eyebrows mind the um, whole thing yeah this is can you see <laughs> i have uh, my makeup here and yes my cup of coffee Aha. so basically this is what i do i'm going to define my eyebrows and like i said this is that one step that really takes a chunk of the time for me whenever i'm doing my my makeup and it's a bit difficult i don't want to lie to you it's a bit difficult doing it 
like this because this is not the place whereby I normally do my makeup to start with and secondly I hardly speak when I'm doing my makeup and there is never a camera so yeah so you'll just have to bear with me and hope for the best <laughs> yeah so basically um this is to define and to i suppose highlight the the brows and th this part i also kind of like because this is where i can come in to narrow down the the brow that i did if i wanted to be smaller or like just leave it as is and yeah and just work towards it okay nice i'm happy with that yeah i know i look like bozo the clown <laughs> it's gonna come right people it's gonna come right just just stick around just stick around and give me some moral support like i said it's the first i do this and i'm not sure um my level of comfort is 0.01 so i hope you are rooting for me to get this right oh yeah by the way if you are new to my channel this is content i hardly post <laughs> I, I i normally assume teacher role with my content and i hardly do the creative stuff and yeah so it's 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 a pretty it's a bit awesome to be doing something outside of my scope and yeah and just be here now doing this and voila so yeah so basically that's what i do i think i can do this with the camera can i do this with the camera um, no, i don't think so because i'm not looking into the camera i'm looking something else okay so basically this is what i or this is how i put my what do you call this thing I suppose maybe it's it's me contouring my eyes if there's such a thing. Do people contour their eyes? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but then basically this is what I do when it comes to my mm, daily makeup. Daily makeup. Then I I have this beautiful tiny little brush. I don't know what it's called that I normally use with my eyeliner to fill in the brows a bit more <clears throat> and to just clean up where maybe the lines are showing too much and to really just set the the tone for the eyebrows you know and i also kind of especially in what's what's this place called within the brows yeah uh, in uh, by the forehead <laughs> oh this is a lot of work guys <laughs> trying to speak through this whole thing yeah we, between the brows where the the eyebrows start i, I kind of like don't like for it to be too defined because also i feel like if it's too defined it looks ridiculous so normally what i would do is that you know what i think i'm just gonna shut up and do my makeup because i think i'm just talking too much and i'm talking things that uh i don't know so yeah i did tell you that this is that one thing that takes up the most time and another thing that i sort of like like when i 
do this part is it also just allows me to highlight um, this part of my my face and make it look um, pretty defined and yeah then just after I do that before I blend in um, I love to go in with this um, color this this color I, I love this color it's 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 a nude color and I love it because it just when I put it on my eye eyebrow socket yes this is a socket right whenever I put it on my eyebrow socket it sort of like mimics <clears throat> sorry it mimics the the color of my the, the tone of of my socket so it you would hardly think I have eyeshadow in there and also other than that um i, I kind of feel like i have this um <clears throat> you remember i said earlier on that um my skin has different tones and when it comes to 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 my eye sockets it it always looks like i already have eyeshadow in there even when i don't have so i i love this eyeshadow because it just speaks to, to to the color inside my socket and I just love to to put it all around and within the crease I just emphasize a lot in the crease and just give it a nice smooth swab throughout and I don't bake so I, I, <laughs> people that bake please don't kill me i kind of feel like it's just a lot of steps that a lot of people are putting into this makeup thing that are just unnecessary and they're just gonna take a lot of my time so i hardly do that and yeah basically let me see i like my eyebrows i'm happy with that then now what we are going to do is blend right and i'm going to blend them what you call this thing this um what you call it this contour slash whatever that i did around my eyes i i'm just gonna blend it so that it it fades in nicely and it doesn't look too 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 light and it, it fits off the nice the, the eye fits off the eye perfectly and whew, um like literally I'm, I'm struggling through this that's fine we'll live to see another day we will live to see another day we will live to see another day okay that's another thing i love to do Whenever I put on my makeup, I, I love to just sing crazy stuff. I don't know if I'm the only one that normally does that, but then yeah, that's the crazy that I go, get into when I put on my makeup. So yeah, it's coming nicely. I think it's coming nicely. Okay, I actually thought it would be a disaster. But it's not a disaster. Um, it was just me being conscious that I have a camera and I will do as I would if I didn't have my if I didn't have a camera on. So mm -hmm. so okay. We're still blending, right? And I'm just gonna dab into my foundation again so that we fix everything around here so that it blends nicely and it doesn't look like I fell off a tree somewhere. And um, notice I, I use the same uh, foundation brush when I am blending um, my 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 eye contour 
color to the rest of my face I feel like um, when you add, you you mix the two, it sort of like blends nicely, and it just gives that what you call it um, infused look. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I am losing words. I really am losing words. Okay. Alrighty. So I don't know if you have noticed. Um, even though I was playing around with blending the color, I didn't go right into the, what you call this thing, into the eyebrows themselves. So it, it's still a bit lighter there. And I just go back with the brush that I used to sort of like just clean it up a bit so that it becomes blended. And, you know, you remove the sharp lines. That normally make the eyes look crazy. So yeah. Yeah, guys, this like literally, I don't want to lie to you. This is that part to, to my, my daily prep that takes the longest. And, but then once I'm done with it, like literally I am good to go. You know, I'm really like good to go. And... And I don't know what's happening to my light. It keeps doing funny things. So I don't know if you can see. That's basically more or less my eyebrow look. My accentuated eyebrow look. So that's how I get my eyebrows to, to look like I have decent brows, you know. Um, I think it's just one of those things I I would love to to have permanent um, and I'm not sure because I don't know how I feel about micro molding and all these other add-ons I, I don't know it kind of feels very comfortable knowing that this is a face that I can put on and I can put off whenever it suits me you know um, and I don't want to lie, I, I I think I'm a bit scared with going for something that is permanent on my face and I end up not liking it. So I think that has always been my worry. Eh, okay, let me just do that so that we sort of like plan the two. I love going into the crease. I really love going into the crease because also the nice thing about going into the crease is that when it starts like when the, the 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 makeup starts setting in you find at times um you sort of like have a line where it it's sitting because now you if you have oily skin like myself now your oily skin is like breathing through so i find that whenever i go into the crease itself it's like semi powder let's just put it like that so it becomes nice and well done so my eyes are done 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 i i just love going in with my my my, my foundation brush honestly because i feel like it just works nice with um whatever residue it has from whatever thing that i'm doing with my face so basically this is how my eyebrows are going to look for t 
today's look of which is my flipping everyday look so yeah mm. then um i hardly i really hardly put on eyeliner is it an eyeliner not inside the water line well inside the water line i love putting eyeliner but then on on, on top where there is eye eyebrows wait what are these eyelashes yes where there's eyelashes i i normally don't put on eyeliner i don't know um my my, my philosophy when it comes to makeup is let it be something that enhances your your beauty and then and not use it as something that takes away like you know I, I i don't get why i would look like i'm not myself when i'm done with my makeup um that always puzzles me so um i won't say i'm minimalistic but then i kind of like the look that I, I get especially when I do my own makeup because I can also direct how I want for for it to be and like I said I, I don't like for it to overshadow me 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 you know okay I was talking and I freaking got mascara on my face I freaking got mascara on my face and this is what you do you, you just dab 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 and you find the more you dab it just goes <laughs> and it doesn't interfere with your foundation uh, and like I said this foundation I really love because I, I kind of feel like once it sets on my face it really sets you know and yeah Believe it or not, um, I have my mascara on, but I'm still going to put on lashes. I'm still going to put on lashes. I don't know. I kind of like putting on mascara before I put on my eyelashes, of which maybe I should go in and put on the glue on them. Um, yeah, and these are the lashes that I use. I don't know what they are called. And I, I, I really like my lashes short and very spaced apart, you know. I, I feel like when they are like that, they they accentuate than making your your whole eye look fake. Well, technically it does look fake when you have these things on, but then yeah. <sighs> Oh, this glue is doing things to me so yes guys um please let me know what have you guys been up to uh this week and has any of you started a youtube channel you know um i started mine about two two and a half months ago uh and i don't want to lie i'm kind of enjoying it <laughs> it's the fact that it allows me to to speak out loud with myself <laughs> all the time it's it's kind of cool you know i really kind of like that and it has been a what you call this a growth point for me you know it has been a growth point for me to just uh put myself out there and just do this thing um believe it or not somebody is knocking and it's funny because they know very well that if my office door is closed it means i am doing a recording i don't know why they are knocking because there is that rule that if my door is closed it means it's either i don't want to be disturbed or i am filming a video so it's fine the knocking has stopped so oh la la ah yeah this is the fun part that i think a lot of us who put on eyelashes why am i putting eyelashes on 
the camera like i'm not a pro to that level yet whereby i'll come straight to the camera and put on my lashes like seriously okay you must just sit where i want for you to sit my eyelash please we're doing this for tv so don't ruin my moment eyelash don't ruin my moment please mm -hmm. i love putting on my uh, lashes with my my hands even though i i sort of like have the the stuff that you can use to put on eyelashes with i find it's much easier when you do it with your bare hands you know um And also, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't want to lie, I'm a, I'm a fan of transparent um, glue. Because I find that even if the eyelash set on a wrong spot, um, once it dries out, it fades into the skin. So it's quite nice. So, yeah, that is my eyelash on. And I just mix it with my lash so that you sort of like get that uniformity kind of thing. And I don't know why you doing that. Why are you gonna go and do that? Aha, uh -huh, et voila. Okay, um kinda feels like there's something in my eye. Kinda feels like there's something in my eye. I'll be right back. You just wait a second. Aha, uh -huh, it's out. I think. I'm back uh-huh so being back means we are putting on the other eyelash I'm probably gonna cut this part because you know I'm taking you through putting on eyelashes which is like just Oh, yes, I'm the girl, and you don't know what you got to let's go. Oh, you don't know what you got to let's go. You're giving it a few seconds, a few seconds for it to semi dry so that we can put it on okay guys i'm gonna go off camera uh because i kind of feel like i need to bend so that i put this baby on um one day when i grow up ne, i will make a video where i put my eyelash on in front of the camera and uh -huh. all right kind of like this one and i'll basically show you how i go did it i go did it Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You can't be go did it here. You need to fix this. There we are. Happiness. And you kind of went all the way out when you kind of went all the way out and when you kind of went all the way in. Okay, what? Well, it's just one of those things, you know. Just one of those things. 
you can never ever get it perfectly right all the time so i'm going to compensate here by filling in my eyelashes to give it some va -va -vum. and to just move you from seeing where exactly the lash starts and oh yes guys if you are new to my channel please like subscribe <laughs> i almost said click yes like and subscribe to my channel i would really much appreciate that and give this video a thumbs up yes i did say like give this video a, a thumbs up and comment down below what do you like so far with the makeup what is it that is throwing you off please let me know and would you like to see something like this um or something more or less in the same lines in the future and i'm um, going into my waterline so I, I like my my pencil to sit on the waterline itself for my day-to-day -day look but then let's say maybe uh we're going out at night and i need to be cameras and all of that then you sort of like you have it differently done you know but then for for my day-to-day go-to look i love it when it's within the water line and see how i'm just like transforming <laughs> i am just a transforming i am just transforming i'm gonna dab into my foundation for the last time to clear anything and everything that might not be in place i don't bake like i said i don't conceal under the eyes um i have a, a black spot here that i would like to get sorted out uh, I, uh, 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 so there we are, there we are, there we are. Like I said, um, I, I, I love this foundation because it's, you, you can build on it, you know, you can really build on it and and I actually lied when I said I was dabbing into my foundation for the last time. Um, it's the second last time. I need to dab into it as soon as I am done with my blusher. You know, the thing about this video, um, please forgive me. I don't know where I'm looking, you know. Because um, I can clearly see that my eyes are not in the camera hole. So, just bear with me and okay this is what we need to do and i find a lot of us we neglect this part and then if your foundation is not like the correct color you find then it looks like you have two faces <laughs> it looks like you have two faces so now and then you just want to blend it going a bit down and also it depends on the kind of clothes that you would be wearing you know um you should be a bit careful when you're going to wear something that um covers your neckline and your collarbone you know but then other than that just make it a point that you move your foundation in such a way that at least it gives you that mono is it monochrome no uniform look oh, monochrome monochrome uniform look whatever you call it so basically this is my 
everyday go-to look this is my everyday go-to look and i have a pink blusher guys no and i don't like it but i like it i'll explain um i'm i have a warm undertone so when you have a warm undertone like your peachy orangey blushes look much nicer and very inviting oops there i go much nicer and very inviting so um when i bought this pink one i was like okay let's just see you know and i bought myself a pink blusher so the nice thing about it is that it it stays on and it sits nicely and it it glides like literally even now you can see i'm i'm just like dabbing on it and um i'm a bit sad because this is how i normally apply it all the time and because i just uh dab on it it's taking forever to finish so i think i'm just gonna get to a point where i just throw it out because the idea was to just get it finished you know just get it finished um but the part that i like about it was i kind of said okay since it's a very nice slide on kind of blush it's very pink you can see very very pink like literally you can see i'm very pink um it, it glides on nice and it stays in place like the whole day you know and i sort of like okay just thought about it and said okay what's the next best thing i can do and the next best thing that i can do was to mix it with my highlighting powder and when i mix it with my highlighting powder it literally um kills the color sort of and gives me this nice look you know it just gives me this nice look that i'm sort of like okay with that i am okay with okay i kind of feel like i put on too much today i don't know why so yeah um so basically that's the reason why i still have it on it's a beautiful it's a beautiful uh, blusher that goes on very nicely on the skin so i i kill it you see if you can see it's sort of like it sort of like dies down when i put on my highlighter and i i love my highlighter because it's very shimmery it is a very shimmery kind of highlighter and another thing is i normally don't get to the center of my cheekbones um because that's where I concentrate the highlighter the most. So it sort of like nicely blends with the um, blusher and it, it kills it because you can see it's too pink this side. You see, it's too pink this side and it has, it has become gold with the pink undertone if there's such a thing. So I think that's why it's still sticking around because I've managed to maneuver something around it. So basically this is me and my day. Day. And I don't know if you can see, I haven't done my nose yet, but then already it's shiny. I think this, this is what I really love about my makeup. Because by the time I'm done, it's nicely set and it's not too, what's the word? It's not too matte. It, it, it looks like a second skin. And um, I, I don't know, I'm just that person, I'm just that girl that loves foundation that looks like it is second skin instead of it looking like you are too done you know i, I don't know I'm, I'm 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 of the view that you kind of like need that natural glow coming underneath your your foundation your foundation is so and i i like to also put um this the highlighter inside my 
inside the corner of my eyes i kind of feel like it just it adds on this drastic subtle look if there's such a thing drastic subtle look <laughs> Yo. you see doing makeup on your channel will get you talking a language that you don't know drastic subtle is there such a thing as drastic subtle him or that okay so yeah so basically then you just i just blend it in i just blend it in oh well when i do this my camera changes that's super nice that is super nice so It kind of looks funny on camera than it actually looks on the mirror. I don't know which one is lying to me. I don't know whether it's the camera that's lying to me or it's the mirror. But then on the mirror, I'm happy. On the mirror, I'm happy. This is when I dab in my foundation for the last time. I promise you. And here's the thing. I just literally, I, I just dab like that. Um, for the last time to just work around that area and excess on my chin excess on my chin okay this is to help blend to help blend So, yeah, so more or less, this is my everyday go to look that is almost finished. And I cannot believe I went on for an hour. Whoa, okay, I am not doing makeup things on my channel. Please let me know if you would like for me to do a lot of these things um guys you know i love my i love my red lipstick i really really love my red lipstick and do not judge me don't judge okay is that highlighter thing i kind of feel like highlighting there don't judge Mm. We have a mustache. You know a mustache. We have a it kinda helps with the shadows, especially like if you like me, you don't contour. I use a lot of uh, highlight to kill some of the shadows. There we are. There we are. I love my red lipstick. Like, red lipstick for me is like my go to. 
my go-to lipstick i i dabble in nudes as well and the pinks and once in a while i'll do purple like like literally once in a while Okay, that's it. We are done with my cupid bowl. Okay, guys. Um, so yeah, basically this is more or less the almost finished look. I'm gonna go off camera, put on my hair, and come back and show you the finished look. So guys, um, thank you for waiting. I had to go and sort out my hair and here we are. This is my finished look. This, like I said, is my go-to everyday look and I really hope you enjoyed this video and once again, I will see you on my next upload.